I don't think so on the stream. I don't know if he was in the crew battle. And then going right in. Is that it? Is that it? That was so good, but he didn't get the stock out of that. Javi going straight for the cloud. And I would imagine he has some he has some magic experience in this because being MK Leo's awesome. Yeah, for sure. That's amazing conversion. Oh, he gets luck. Oh, great tech by Javi. And I think uh, you can see a lot of uh, Leo's Mennonite on, on Roxas. On everyone's they, Mennonite. Well, well yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get some cheese right there by the ledge, but... Okay, so now we have limit on deck. Rox with 59% uh, on, on, this, on this cloud. Young, very patient play by both players. Perfect shields and grab out of that. Now happy with the stage control. Great response reading the roll in. Cloud just so good at keeping his opponents in the air and That's it. He chased What? Him, <laughs> I mean, it's not because I'm surprised it killed it, just because how explosive Happy made it <laughs> made it happen. It made yeah. it made it happen in the blink of night. Yeah, dude, Javi And I don't know about that I'll be too. I hope Rox doesn't get tilted or anything like that. Great pressure by Rox managing to get the limit out of Javi. Forcing him to recover using it. Great backer. And now Rox with the stage control. A great ledge oh, He went. Ah, that's very chic esque. Like when they go for the trump and you just do the bouncing push. Yeah. The down beyond stage. Exactly the same move, different character. And I would say that. Great oh, chase by Rox. Chase. That's it. 122%. <laughs> very, very good presence of mind from Rox chasing down Javi on the floor of Smash. Very hard to be such a good player, but he managed to do that. Dude. Even in things out, as far as it goes. Okay, so 87% to 17%. Oh, good but back here. Meta Knight is not, the <laughs> is not the heaviest character, so he's not going to be living a, he's a, close. Limit, a he's, limit move. He's an, a dead percent for cross dash for sure. Yeah, even without rage from Cloud. Now, if, if this goes a Habi's way, do you think he's gonna switch? Ro is Rox? Yeah, he, that's I it. mean, he has Sabeo, he has uh, Sheik, he has a Cloud, right? Dude, his Sheik is insane, but I, but I think that all of those are matchups that Javi knows really well. Really he's well. really good against Bayo, he's really good against Sheik, he's really good against Cloud. Especially Cloud. <laughs> yeah, Meta Knight. Sure. Uh, we just saw he's it against Meta Knight. Oh! He's, he's going, going for, for the Ditto. Ditto. Nice. And this is a player that forced Tweak out of Cloud at Civil War. We saw the DK come. Uh, come out. Uh, the, the I mean, Javi. Oh, yeah. Javi, Javi forced Javi. Uh, Tweak out of, out of Cloud. Yeah, Javi being so good like at international level. And I don't know if uh, Javi's going to have even more matchup experience in this because Leo, I feel he plays much more Cloud these days than he does Meta Knight. Yeah, for sure. And him being one of his practice partners and traveling partners as well. But, but we've seen how volatile the Dito can be, just look at that. Oh yeah, it, it only takes a couple of hits in Europe stage and dead. Yeah, and that's it, especially with Cloud. They can gimp each other so easily. But Rox is young, young talent. Great spacing by Javi, and now it's Rox with the stage control trying to two-frame him with the dash attack. Playing footsies. Play a little bit of old. Oh, now he's going to be forced to burn it. Great recovery by Rox. And Javi was out of it. Javi was super ready for that uh, ledge jump up there. Yeah, I'm punishing accordingly. He just jammed him he died, so. Yeah, great. Showing Two us that that option is not safe. Now the back throw from Rox. He has the stage control and he's going to chase him. And that's not enough. Good recovery and... Great, Great patience also. Javi also a very stellar recovery using the Smash Build Taxi Platform. To his advantage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh no, my. come on! That was a statement, but it kind of went both ways. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it didn't really pan out the way Rox wanted to. Yeah, he fast fell a little too much. Yeah, no, no, no. But those are mistakes that do the mental damage too. <laughs> yeah, but he's, he seems comfortable with it. He's gonna switch to Sheik. 
Dude, like I was saying, he's shaking something out of this world. If you seen him in the crew battle, like, uh, just I warming I up. Didn't, I didn't have the chance to see him. Dude, Maybe he was warming. Out. He looked like Mr. R, literally. He was Mr. R at that moment. All right, so all he's right. very good with Sheik. I can tell you that. So does that mean that he pulls his, his milker too? Yeah, <laughs> kind <laughs> of. Oh, oh, great. Oh no, that was the bouncing fish. That would have been amazing. Rocks trying to make the most use out of the smashing platform. Okay, a little bit of a flop with the B reverse. The B reverse needles. Yeah, that's never intentional on stage, dude. Yeah, you do. Great pair for pivots. Oh, oh my god. I was <laughs> like, get out of me, dude. <laughs> get out of my <laughs> way. Trading out, but. How you with the stage control? And he's a. He's become also a great Lich driver. He's, oh yeah. He's very good at employing Cloud's options at Lich. He's crazy good at Forcing his opponents to make mistakes. In that game is kind of not even because the Cloud has limit. Now Rox has to burn the limit out of the Cloud. Great conversion with the open. Oh, what? That was a DI mix-up, dude. Now that, that actually surprised me. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was going to kill. Very great nice. Great usage of the grenade. And explain to me uh, how the, that DI mix-up works. Oh, uh, there's a way, I've seen Void doing it many times, there's a way you can uh, kind of control the part of the hitbox that hits the last. So that's the part that determines where he's gonna fly. So if he does regular GI and he gets the opposite part, he kills himself. Alright, alright. That's what he did. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, himself. you just GI to your dead. Yeah. Alright, so Rox showing, showing the tech. And this is the moment to do so, right? Yeah. Top mid qualifier. Against Javi, especially. Yeah, I I hope uh, we'll start to see Rocks a little bit more uh, now that put him in in the radar. Now that he's showing up against Javi. I have so much faith in him, dude. I don't see Javi getting out of the top eight, but dude, Rocks is so good. Nice aggressive recovery coming down, coming up with the upper. Great with punish by Rocks. Quick conversion, kind of bread and butter, with a new DI kind of thing with the patch. Uh, he was looking for a roll in right there in touches. Javi one step ahead. Great, mixing up the recovery, and that's the upper, almost surviving. And ha Javi's gonna need this limit if he wants to make it back to stage. So if Rox takes him out of his him. jump, yeah, yeah. Needles, great usage of needles, and also the phantom footstool. Waiting for the air dodge, very dangerous. Oh, great conversions by Javi, 63% so fast. And that's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt if you're, if you're rocks. Great grab, out of the down air, oh. great response by Javi too. He could have spiked him and sometimes that hitbox plays an opera. That's the reverse, you. that's the reverse oh. I was talking about, that's oh. it. Once again, once yeah. again rocks clutching out this, this second game. Yeah, great game. The third game, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, third sorry. game. He's down 2-1, but still going strong with the Sheik. I would okay. love to see Javi switch. I don't think... Is he going for the Ditto? Oh, no. He's going for it. Yeah, he's going for it. Oh, he's going for the Ditto. He's, he's going for the Ditto, and your wishes come true. Yeah, dude. I'm such a fanboy of this, too, because I'm a Sheik player myself. <laughs> so it's always I, great I got it. I, I got you. I got you. Yeah. A little bit of my heart broke when Smash Factor Richie lost, because I'm a Lucario. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's it. That's it. The final, maybe the final great Ditto that we're gonna have at this tournament. Yeah, <laughs> which players are, are still alive in our bracket right now? Oh, uh, for sure. Uh, we have Leo, I think, Hyuga. Uh, who else? Hyuga in loser's bracket since Salva beat him. That was a great uh, win for Salva. He's, he's, so been in, he's been in a couple of times in the last few months, but uh, I'd say it's still kind of surprising. Which just talks uh, greatly about Mexico about Hugo, about Hugo, and also about Hugo, yeah. Hugo, at his prime, considered a top 15 player in the world, for sure. Uh, now he's making his return, and Salva beating him is amazing. So, uh, oh, great conversion by Javi using the jump cancel for the up smash. And this is so back and forth. It's a battle of the neutral right here. Yeah, the first one to lose the stock is gonna suffer so much because of, you know, uh, that was it! 98% oh, oh. uh, another DI mix-up! He's stealing his tricks. Oh, 
So now even Leo picking up uh, Sheik lately. Uh, pretty sure Javi is very experienced. Like we said, he only lost to Bedgar, I think, once. That's it. He's won every single He's, he's very proficient in Ditto because he's such a neutral oriented player. Yeah. He doesn't do like a, a bunch of crazy risky stuff, right? Yeah, when your when your opponent has the same stuff that that you have, yeah. it's all gonna come down to who neutral. finds that opening first. Yeah, neutral and Mexican. Okay, so spacing around each other. It was kind of an unsafe dash attack and punished by rocks. This is so fast, dude. So many things going on. Okay, so this is prime percent for needles to bounce and fish for rocks. Five more percent and doubt won't connect. All right, all right, bringing us the knowledge. Okay, so whiffing both of them the builds. Such a great spacing duel in neutral for Shake. <laughs> we just Close shot, and that's it. F tilt to upper. Yeah, not quite yet. Uh, Rage Shake, but he's gonna he's gonna try and and rack up this damage. Both of them. And this combo's all at low percents from Rox. Yeah, great combo. Oh my god, 47%. Interrupting. He's out of a bouncing fish. Oh, that was almost the back here, dude. God. It's sometimes uh, kind of tragic whenever you, you're knocked out of the bouncing fish and you just try to do it again. You grenade and fall yeah, you pop But Oh my That's god! It, Rox. Reading the jump, Rox 2 2 in this set against Happy. Such just an like, amazing set. Just dude. like a melee wave dash. 2 2. Yeah, that was <laughs> so fast. Yeah, that was it. That was all or nothing. <laughs> oh my god, that was so impressive. So then again, this is top 8 qualifier for the people that are just... Uh, is he taking in. another top player... Oh, well, another Mexican top player name? Yeah. Is he putting him on his belt? He's Under going his back. Have he's, he's, he's considering the switching. Oh, wow. He doesn't want the volatile nature of the Dito to screw him. <laughs> uh, okay, going back to the Dito. This is this is great for me. This is a ride, dude. <laughs> and you must be confident, right? You you can't you let yourself down. He was he was winning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got clutched out by Rox. Uh, what I mean is that you can't defeat yourself first in your mind, in your own mind. Like, if you do that, then you're for sure going to lose on game. Yeah, for sure. You have to keep the confidence. Great conversions by Happy Bread and Butter for three percent, very quickly. And there comes Rox. Great chase. Rox answering 6%. back. Sand. Taking the lead. Using every tool oh, from Shik. Oh, oh my god! He's moving so well. He's comboing like a madman. And also, we have to say that uh, Shik is kind of foot combo for, for herself, right? <laughs> okay, just regular get up and not catching him with the upper. Reacting very fast, happy with the, his own neutral. And also, uh, I feel like every time you you see like no, oh no come what? on he, is he was trying not to get like stage spike maybe I don't know did he went for the BV of B holding down for maybe maybe I don't know that was great presence of mind the bad execution by Rox this could cost him yeah big time okay there's the banish attempt and the ledge trapping by Rox so so strong and now he's in a ledge position. Going both back to neutral. Both of these players, great punishes and, and great lich trapping. Okay, trying to catch the get up jump. Great catch by Javi with the grab. Both of them just like spacing around each other, and throwing needles, respecting each other so much. And sometimes you have to disrespect your opponent. You have to try to break into their comfort zone. And Oh, big happen. great by Javi. Yeah, like especially with top players, you can get intimidated so easily, but you shouldn't. You should play like your heart out. Dude. And most chicks would have gone for the up smash raid on tech. Javi one step ready in front of Rox and looking for the backer. Push him up yeah, stage. Waiting, waiting for the tech option, right? Once more. That's it. No. A little Eight. bit too slow on the trigger. Great recovery by Javi, and that's the ledge trapping. 88% on rocks. He can still manage to pull this out. It's not over yet. Yes, Great shake. It's never over in the Dito. And I like that he's not giving in to whatever. Uh, oh, oh, great up smash, but that's not enough. That was a very bad trade for rocks. Okay, so that's not it. Great chase by Javi. 
Oh, risky option, but not punished. This is this is Rock's time. Okay, this is, he has stage control. If he wants to squash it out, this is go time. Yeah. 33% 33 and a happy. And great conversions again. Oh, pressure. He's, he's going crazy. Yeah, 55%. He's moving so fast, dude. 65. Once again. Trying, trying to get the overshoot with the air. Okay, great catch. The two frame vulnerability. Oh, oh, like you were saying, that was enough. Him. That was a great DI, but still. Props to with the Mr. R. Props to Rox. Yeah, that was from Mr. R's book, for sure. Uh, great stuff for Rox. Getting ninth place just a little bit below the super top players from this country. Just shy. Just shy of top eight. Yes, so that goes to show how good uh, Rox is, like national wise. So uh, Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, I think he's.